show that we're going to talk about all things metaphysical. I am a psychic medium and an intuitive life coach, so I have a few things um, planned for you guys today. Of course, we're going to do our free readings throughout the event. It's, a, it's about two hours today, so um, if you can't stay for the full two hours, you can pop in and out, whatever you like. Now, today we are going to um, kind of go over how to tell what your predominant psychic sense is. Um, I'm also going to teach you guys how to read auras. And um, we're going to talk a little bit about stress management as far as like any natural herbs or remedies. We'll talk about crystals related to that as well. And at the very end, I am going to make a DIY face scrub with you guys here on camera, okay? So um, I hope you're ready for what's in store for our show today. I am coming to you from Southwest Florida, so I see a, po a couple of you guys popping in and out right now. Why don't you guys say hi, say hello in the comments, let me know where you are from. Go ahead and say hi, we'll do some shout outs while I, I um, shuffle some of my decks here. Hi guys, oh hey, from North Carolina. Oh, from California. Hello. How are you? Hi, my friend. How are you? Mississippi. Welcome, guys. South Carolina. Oh, you're from Germany. All right. Hello. Thanks for being here. Hello, Billy from Pennsylvania. Hi, from Wisconsin. Hello. Hey, Breezy B. How are you? Texas. We have two Texas right in a row in the house. How are you guys? <laughs> I hope you guys are ready for today. Um, I have about two hour show planned for you. So if you are watching this live, you'll get to participate in the free readings that occur during this two hour show. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube afterwards or on my podcast, um, then maybe something will resonate with you later on. Um, so hi guys, how are you? Thank you so much for joining. I know a few, a few more of you are in here now. Hello from Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Hello, how are you? Hi guys. Hi, welcome. Welcome in, welcome in. I have a, I have a great show planned for you today. Um, we're going to do some live readings. I'm going to teach you about your psychic abilities. I'm going to teach you how to decipher what your strongest ability is, what your predominant ability is. I'm going to teach you how to read auras or at least start to try to figure out how to read auras. Um, and that kind of goes along with your chakras. I'm going to talk about natural remedies for managing your stress. Um, this is mainly going to be consistent of crystal uses and natural herbs. And the last thing that I'm going to talk about is a DIY skin face scrub that I will make right here with you guys. Um, this has changed my life. Like this face scrub that I created along with um, an oil to go on afterwards, it has changed my complexion. I no longer wear... Um, any foundation on my face. Um, my skin was pretty horrible from a teenager up all the way up until I was 32 years old. So once I developed this um, face wash and oil, I, uh, I'm like, I got to teach more people how to do this. It's so simple. So thank you so much for being here. Oh, hi guys. Oh, thank you so much for the comment on my hair. I have a little different background today. I'm actually in my bathroom. Um, <laughs> some of you guys know I have a large family. I have four children. So um, I like this space. I have all my DIY stuff right here on the floor. And I'm going to show you how to make that a little bit later. Hi, how are you guys? And as always, um, if you would like a personalized reading, I do have a TikTok special going on right now. All you have to do is click the link in my bio. It's the link that's under the, the two blue arrows. So um, if you click that link, it'll take you to my partner site called Hey Hero. There is a TikTok special. You'll see it right at the top. It's a, it's a mini my, little mini psych, uh, psychic or mediumship reading. Um, you can ask anything you like, um, medical readings, fertility, romance, um, any blocks or healing or trauma. You can ask about your auras. You can ask about anything in the future, um, how to deal with situations now in the present. Okay, so I am going to be doing free readings throughout this two hours, okay? And um, all you're going to have to do in order to uh, participate in that is double tap on that screen. Just take in your fingers and double tap on that screen. It's going to give this live some likes. Um, and then when I say that uh, that's time for the readings, then all you have to do is put your name in the comments. And I am a medium, um, a psychic medium, and I connect with people through their names. Pictures, um, some people might use pictures or have a stronger connection with pictures. For myself, I use names. So um, if you are kind of dabbling into your psychic abilities, 
um, and you really want to know how, how do I even know if I'm psychic? How do I know if I have these abilities? How do I know everyone has these abilities to a degree? Um, but in a little bit, we're going to go over how can you tell your predominant sense? Okay. And you're going to need a little piece of paper and a pen for this. So I'm going to start doing some readings right now for you right off the bat. And don't forget, if you want a personalized reading, please click the link in my bio. Um, you are supporting me and I do appreciate it. And uh, those readings are special because they are only offered during my live and they're guaranteed to be done today. Okay. So um, check that out anytime during this live and then you can pop back in. So um, it is 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Here I am and I will be going until 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay. And I see some names flying and I saw the name Evelyn and it stuck out in my head. So um, I'm going to start with this reading uh, for Evelyn and um, today I'm going to use a variety of cards. Any readings that I do here for you as a, as a clairvoyant, I do get images, um, but I am going to be using cards in a sense that I'm connecting with your angels and um, any messages that you need to know are going to come through, okay? So this um, reading is for Evelyn. Whoa, I love when the cards just fly out like this. There was like one on the side. Okay, Evelyn. So like when I, when I said your name, I pictured you in a house um, and I pictured you just kind of um, taking care of the daily maintenance of things. And then I pulled this card that says you are never alone. And I feel like what's really going on in your head right now is Maybe you just need someone to know how you feel. Like, does it feel like you're doing everything or that everything falls on your shoulders or that you are the only one? Um, even if it's just keeping up with the house or things like that, there's just this energy of you doing stuff um, in, in, in you're kind of by yourself or you feel like you're alone in this. And I, and I just have to tell you that you're never alone, okay? Um, and some of the thoughts that are repeating in your head while you're doing these monotonous things, whether it's sweeping or doing the dishes or folding the laundry, whatever you are doing, you need to change the way that you react in those moments. Because the more you, the more you start to associate the mood with the action, you're, you're literally classically conditioning yourself to hate what you're doing. Okay. So here's an example. Um, some of you may have bell trained your dogs when you first got a puppy where you put a bell on the door and every time you bring the dog out, you ring the bell. Now, what we're doing is we're pairing a stimuli and we're conditioning the dog to know that the bell equals going outside. If I have to go outside, I ring the doorbell. Now, as humans, when we are doing an activity that we don't like, we secrete certain hormones and, and cortisol levels that... Um, that don't feel good. And every time we go to do that activity again, sometimes our body will just naturally secrete them because we've paired them so many times. So what I'm going to tell you is when you're doing something that you feel like maybe you're the only one that's doing it. Okay. Make it fun. Put on some music. Um, pretend to smile while you're doing it. Like I literally used to do the laundry and just fake smile the whole time. There's actually a theory um, in psychology that says that you can trick your brain into being happy just by smiling first because there's an association between smiling and the release of hormones like serotonin within your brain. So um, if you're happy, you smile. Well, why not the other way? Smile equals happy. All right. So think of it that way. All right, guys. Thank you so much for being here, guys. I see everyone's names coming through. I'm going to get to another name in just a second. My name is Katie Mikey. I am a psychic medium. I'm also an intuitive life coach. I have a master's in sports psychology. I have another master's in behavioral analysis. I was a psychology teacher uh, for the past couple years. I still kind of do it on the side and teach kids overseas. But for now, I'm coming to you as your spiritual coach, as your guide, as your teacher. Um, and a lot of you guys are teachers yourselves. You're going to take what I, what I teach you and you're going to turn around and teach other people. Okay. So if you're wondering why you're here and you have this connection to spirituality in just a minute, we're going to find out what your predominant senses are for myself. It is my clairvoyant abilities. A lot of people are clairvoyant. A lot of people believe that clairvoyant is the easiest way I would beg to differ. Um, but I'm going to pull a card for Taylor. All right, Taylor, I'm going to pull a card for you. 
Okay, so I, I'm getting this energy of like, oh no, she didn't from someone. Okay, um, Taylor. Trust in the magic. Okay, so is there like a situation that you feel like you need to push away or there's a situation that came up or abrupt and you can't believe that it happened or it shocked you in a way? There's just this energy of you kind of like letting go and trusting things to work out the way that they were meant to. Maybe not the way that you saw in your head or the way that you can help, or the way that you can control it, but there is this energy of you just letting go and trusting and having a little bit more balance, okay? This card is 66. Thanks for the little emojis, guys. This card is 66. 66 means balance, finding this energy of this 3D world and this spiritual ether world, and it's really balancing the two, okay? So there is this energy of you letting go and really allowing the universe to come in and have this balanced energy of like, I'm living life, yet I'm allowing life to take me where I'm meant to be, okay? <laughs> All right. <laughs> If you guys are interested in having a personalized reading, I am doing a TikTok special right now for $16. You just have to click the link in my bio and you will get a video response sent to your email today. It'll come to you by this evening since um, I have this two hour uh, show and then I do one-on-ones afterwards and then I, I finish my readings that I got from the show. Oh, you're so welcome, you're so welcome. Erica, this card like was about to fly out when I said your name, Erica. Take a leap of faith, Erica. Okay, so there's some fears. I think there's some fears that are keeping you from progressing or moving forward. I feel it's more of like a, a feeling like you're, you're stuck, like you don't feel like you're gaining momentum, okay? I feel like you just need to take a jump, it, and it's not really a crawl anymore. I feel like you've been crawling for a while. You, you got to take a jump. You got to take a leap. You got to do something that you normally wouldn't do, and I feel like there are doors that are opening for you, and um, it, you just may not be seeing them because you're not thinking about them, but they're there, okay? So I just need you to trust the magic, okay? And, and you have to push yourself forward, okay? Push yourself forward. Make yourself... Make yourself put in the effort, okay? That's all. It's like a giant leap instead of crawling. That's all I can, that's all I see you do. I see you crawling. And metaphorically, sometimes um, when we're doing energy readings, if you're um, an intuitive or psychic and you hear someone's name or see a picture and you picture something really weird, it doesn't mean that they're actually doing it. It may come through as a metaphor, okay? So just keep that in mind, all right, guys? <laughs> All right, Jill, Jill, I see you on here, Jill, but I feel like I need to get a different deck for you, Jill. Okay, Jill, how are you, Jill? <laughs> I just saw, please read Jill. I am reading Jill. <laughs> All right. Self-esteem and reverse. So this is telling me your angels want you to really work on your self-esteem. You possess gifts that are going to benefit other people, but first you have to recognize them within your soul. And your self-esteem is, is, I feel like you put it on the back burner because it's easier to help other people. It's easier to bring other people up. It's easier to motivate other people than it is to stay motivated yourself. Okay, so we want to flip this around. We want to bring in more self-esteem, and I do feel like that will bring some overall happiness and some extra doors are going to be opening for you, okay? If you guys would like that um, special TikTok reading, just click the link in my bio. It'll say TikTok special, okay? TikTok special, and um, it is a micro reading for you, and it can be on any topic you want. It can be on fertility, it could be a medical reading, um, it could be on a relationships, it can be on any blocks from, let's just say, what is blocking love from coming in? What is blocking money from coming in? Um, you can ask questions like, um, what is my purpose in this life? You can ask questions about other people. Um, maybe you have someone that's nonverbal in your family and you need some help with them. All right? So, um, there are other options when you uh, head to the link, um, and those are just longer readings, okay? But in the micro reading, if you want like a 10 to, to 15 minute reading, um, or about, I think it's about a 10 minute reading, there's an option to add on that time, okay? So, it's up to you. It's whatever you want. It's whatever you need. 
it's there for you, okay? Veronica, I saw you on here, Veronica. Hey, Veronica, thanks for being here. It is a new background, guys. I'm in my bathroom. I'm literally in the shower. I have this huge shower. My shower literally goes both ways, probably like six, six feet, and there's two shower heads on each side. Um, but like I said, I have four children and they're really loud and this is like three doors away from the main living area. So you do what you gotta do, right? <laughs> Plus I, I have like a nice, nice tile floor for when I do my face scrub for you guys later, okay? You're gonna wanna stick around for this because this face scrub is gonna change your life or if you have a teenager with acne, it's gonna change their life, okay? All right. Nice acoustics. Is it echoey? I didn't even think of that. Is it echoey, guys? What do you what do you guys what do you let me know like how is the uh, how's the sound? It's kind of a new spot, so okay. It's okay, it's good, okay. Okay, okay. Alright, good. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure because I mean I know bathrooms can be echoey and stuff like that, so Okay, thanks. All right, so um, let me do one more reading for you and then I'm just gonna jump into an exercise that we can all do together, guys. So you're just gonna need a small piece of paper and we are gonna figure out your predominant sense, what you are the best at. Do we all have abilities to have all of the clairs? Yes, but there is one that's dominant in your life that's gonna help you kind of get there. It's gonna push you and it's gonna be one that you recognize the most. Okay, so please stick around. Um, after this reading, if you want to know what your predominant psychic sense is, okay? All right, Laura, I got a message for you, Laura. Laura. So weird. I heard something about the kitchen. Fear. Okay. So this is what I feel like I have to tell you, Laura, there's this energy of you living a way that is, I feel like it's ancestral. And what I, what I mean by that is maybe like you have the same patterns and the same behaviors that maybe your mother or your grandmother, like I feel like it's passed down. And I feel like a lot of the behavior that's fear-based is also passed down. Okay, I feel like that is something that you need to tackle head on because I don't feel like you're, um, I don't feel like you're completely yourself. I feel like you still have a lot of traits and behaviors that are keeping you kind of, I mean, it sounds normal, it feels normal, like, oh, I do this like mom, but I feel like there's a you in there. There's like someone trying to get out and, and there's a fear of like change, um, of doing something a different way because you've done it, always you've done it the same way, okay? So jump out of that idea of, of something not working or something being fearful because we don't know how it's gonna end up and just friggin' do it, okay? Because a lot of the time, we hold ourselves back because we are afraid of not knowing, which is kind of silly, but um, it does keep us back a little bit, okay? Do I have any mods in here? Hey guys, how are you? Yes, breaking a generational curse, okay? All right, guys. I lied. I'm going to do one more. <laughs> I'm going to do one more and then we're going to get into your predominant sense because I feel like a lot of you still need to get a piece of paper and a pen. Okay. And it's not a big piece of paper. You just need like this much room. Okay. All right. Just something to write down. All right. Jessica, Jessica, <laughs> I see the names flying in. Okay. Okay, I'm so glad that I can apply to a couple different things in your life. Thank you so much. Thanks for saying that. Okay, you got pencil and paper? Okay, Jessica, I'm gonna pull a card for Jessica. Everyone go get your pencil and paper. It's, you don't need a lot, even like a post-it or the back of an envelope that have a, of mail that you, throw, that you wanna throw out, okay? All right, Jessica, a mail for you, um, a mail for you. <laughs> a card for you, a message for you, Jessica. All right, gentleness. Uh, okay. So I'm just going to say this, Jessica, I got the guilt card and I also saw you petting a small dog or animal. So I don't know if 
there is any guilt related to that image, why I saw that image, but I do feel like there's some guilt that needs to be released. Like it's kind of being held in and it's being internalized. And I feel like you just need to turn around and let it go, okay? Um, it's, it's not so much, it's guilt that you don't need to feel. Okay, I feel like you have guilt inside of you that you don't need. That's not purposeful. It's it's not helping you in any way. Okay, so let that go. Release that guilt. It's, it's this doesn't fall on your shoulders. Okay. All right. Yes, release all that negativity. Okay. So you guys are going through some anxiety and depression. Look, guys, I completely understand. I have um, at the at the very end. I mean. Well, actually, after I talk about auras, um, I have a little segment to help you manage your stress and how to elevate, help you to elevate your serotonin levels naturally instead of having to take medications like Wellbutrin and Prozac and stuff like that. Um, I've had, a, I've personally had a lot of a success um, with people, for example, that. Um, normally take Prozac and I've created chamomile tinctures that they've taken instead. Okay. So, um, it, it, that might be something that you want to stick around and watch. But for now, guys, we are going to do a little exercise so that you can figure out what your predominant sense is in this psychic world. Now, what I have to say about this is, you know, um, your intuition is an ability, just like it's an internal ability, just like um, playing basketball is a physical ability. We have uh, Michael Jordan, who is a gifted um, athlete. He is a gifted basketball player. And then we have um, gifted psychics and gifted mediums, okay? But it's not something that's unattainable, okay? You can still pick up a basketball and shoot it at the hoop. Whether it goes in or not is a different story, but we all have intuition, okay? So um, if you're new here, my name is Katie Mikey. I am a intuitive psychic medium and life coach. I have a master's in sports psychology and other in behavioral analysis, and right now I'm going to teach you how to discover your predominant psychic sense, okay? So um, after this, we're going to get into a few more readings, and then I will teach you guys how to do your own aura readings, how you can start um, doing aura readings for your friends, for your family, and that's really going to help roll the ball a little bit on your psychic abilities, okay? Here we go. All right, so I want you to answer these questions on a piece of paper. Are you ready? Okay, I want you to write down, or you can describe or write down what you had for breakfast today, or if you didn't have breakfast um, then write down the last meal that you ate. Okay. And you can write down anything about that meal. All right. I'll just give you a few seconds to write that down. Anything about that meal. Okay. All right. The next question, if you can imagine your home, your perfect home, the land, the, the, the environment, the house, what would it look like? You can keep it short. Some, something that's really important, okay? Thanks for telling me, guys. Steak and Brussels sprouts, coffee, and a bar. All right, fingerlicious. Ooh, there we go. Good, you guys are getting the idea. Everyone is psychic, yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. You are correct, my dear. All right, here's the next one. What is your favorite thing about the holidays? This is the last one. Don't worry. What is your favorite thing about the holidays? Perfect. Write that down, guys. Okay. Now, here's the part where we are going to go back and we're going to look at your answers. Okay, so you're going to look at your answers. And perfect. I hear someone say the smells. Okay, great. So you're going to go back and look at your answers. And I want you to ask, the first thing I want you to do is recognize how you received your answers. Okay. Did some of you get pictures in your head? Did some of you have thoughts um, that came through in, in, different, in different ways, like um, a, a knowing? Did some of you have feelings? Did some of you have like a smell? Um, did some of you hear a voice or hear your own voice? 
Okay, so I hear some of you have pictures in your head. Let me know what you guys, let me go what happened, okay? Pictures, and some of you might have had both. Yeah, pictures and feelings. Good, awesome. Pictures and feelings. Um, okay, what else? Pictures, feelings, dreams. Awesome, yeah. Pictures and thoughts, feelings, both. Okay, so it seems like a lot of you guys had pictures and feelings. Okay, memories, images. All right, a knowing, perfect, okay, good. Now that's gonna help you, that, that's one step in the right direction, okay? So pictures and images, this is gonna push us a little bit to a clairvoyant type of mind, okay? Um, something about thinking is gonna be a claircognizant mind. Now let's go a little bit deeper, okay, guys? Okay, so now look and see how you described your answers. Did you use any describing words? Did you use seeing words? Did you use hearing words? Did you use feeling words or thinking words? What else did you put or use um, in your, your description? Was it cool out? Are you describing how it felt? Are you describing how it smelled? Are you describing how it, how, uh, what you saw? Okay, colors, those are visions, visuals, seeing things, feeling things, senses. Okay, awesome. Crunchy, warm, toasty. Some people, I don't know what, if crunchy, I don't know, crunchy can mean a couple things. Clean, awesome, good. All different, okay. Now, what I want you to do is zone in on the ones that feel the most comfortable. The ones that come in, uh, came in the most naturally. Before you even knew what I was doing, the, was it visions that you saw? Um, was it a warm feeling um, that you had? Now, what I want you to do is, is focus on, did you have images and seeing words? That means you're predominantly clairvoyant. Um, if you have voices or heard voices in your head or heard your own voice, um, or even sometimes I see text. Um, I don't know, I guess if that's clairaudient or clairvoyant, but um, if you're seeing things or hearing things, hearing voices, using words that would describe maybe um, the birds, the sound of the birds on your land, Okay, that is Claire Audient. All right, now I'm just gonna go ahead because I have two masters in sports in psychology that I'm gonna talk about schizophrenia just for a quick second because I've had to go over this many times in my psychology classes where people are like, what's the difference between Claire Audient and being schizophrenic or hearing voices? Now, when you hear voices that um, are, if the voices are trying to get you to do things, if they're trying to convince you personally to change your behavior, to change who you are, if they're coming through in different voices, like maybe one is always a deep voice, one is always a child's voice, um, the voice is always consistently the same, has the same tone, that, my friends, is more towards um, like schizophrenia and hearing voices, if they're trying to control you, if they are disturbing your life, um, if they consistently quote unquote haunt you, meaning you don't like it in that way. Um, or maybe you do like it. Maybe they're your friends and maybe you isolate yourself and you only talk to these voices. Then there is a problem. But for majority of us, having Claire Audience is going to be our own voice. It might be another person's voice, but it's not like that voice sticks with us all day, every day and convinces us and tells us to do things. Things and people and and spirit on the other side, they are full of love and joy and they would never try to get you to do anything negative or anything to hurt another person or anything to disturb your own life. They might come through and try to push a message until you deliver it, but it's not going to be um, something negative that disrupts your life in that way, okay? So good morning, guys. If you are just tuning in, I'm Katie Mikey. I'm a psychic medium and intuitive life coach, and we are just kind of going over how to tell your predominant senses, okay? So um, let's go into like the Claire, uh, Claire sentient. Now, this one is um, a little different. Most people would say this is like a feelings. This is like emotions. Um, so you can feel someone's senses. Now, let me describe what this can feel like. This can be so many different things. You can just get a, a feeling inside of your body, like your stomach might have butterflies when you say something or when you see something. It might correlate. Like you might be getting 
um, being clairsentient and clairvoyant at the exact same time, okay? Now, um, yes, a lot of people do that. If I see something and I recognize it and my stomach drops, I know that my body is communicating with my mind of like, okay, yeah, that's real what you just saw, Katie, okay? Um, another way to describe like a clairsentient is if you start to smell something or you feel like you're smelling something, um, it may not be a direct smell like you're smelling in the 3D world. It could just be this internal like smoke. Why do I, I, I don't really smell smoke, but I feel like I smell smoke. Or I might, um, if someone drowned or someone's in the water, I might feel feel like the water is in my mouth and I can actually feel like the temperature. I felt the temperature of water before in my mouth. Um, it, the, the feelings come in different ways. They can be external. They can be internal. Okay. You know, when your kids need me, okay, when your kids need you, yes. Okay. People have multiple multiple combinations of all of these senses and some hello Amy good day and some of these are um, more prominent than others now clear cognizant is one that's really hard to describe the word cognizant just means to think okay and um, that's like Clear cognizant is like information that just comes to you without you knowing. And the best example is when I do my medical readings. Um, let me just tell you, to be honest with you, when I was in college, my first three years of college, I went for occupational therapist and I did so horribly in anatomy and physiology and pathology. Like I could not memorize things. I just, I don't know what it was. I couldn't memorize things. So what I did was, um, I, I stopped, I quit, I quit that major and I started a new major. So anyway, now that I'm doing medical readings, I, I see inside of the body or I just know something about the body, like know something about the gallbladder, like I will, I'll, all of a sudden I'll just spit out like your gallbladder is secreting bile, like at the base. <laughs> and I'm like, is that a thing? Like, is that real? I don't even know how I know that. Um, so sometimes claircognizant comes out in like information that we don't know how we know it, but it just comes through. Okay. Awesome. Now, um, let's, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that soak in for you guys a little bit. I'm going to let it soak in. Um, we're going to do a couple more readings for you. Um, let's see when you hear messages from the other side, is it a different voice or your own, but their message? Okay, let's do, let's answer this question. So when I hear voices from the other side, there's different, when I hear clear audience, okay, we'll call it clear audience. Um, I hear my own voice. Sometimes my own mind talks back to me. You know, have you ever asked yourself a question and you got an answer? Like you're like, yeah, right, Katie. Like you get an answer and no matter if it's sarcastic, if it's, if it's dead on, whatever, if you get an answer back from yourself, then that is, that's clear audience. If you, um, because there's difference between a psychic and a medium, a psychic can connect with other people. They can read energy of other people. Um, and a medium is connecting with those who have passed on the other side. Okay. So when you're hearing words, um, if you're doing a clear audience reading on someone who is alive, you're probably less likely to hear their actual voice. If you are trying to connect someone who has passed away, their voice might come through. Um, sometimes like, sometimes I hear the way a dog, if I do a reading for a, a pet who has passed away, I can hear how the dog sounded. I can hear it's weird, like growls or or the way that it barked or I can hear some weird noises that it would make and sometimes I even try to describe that to the person I'm reading for so um so yeah clear audience can come in many ways like I said before it's only a problem when it becomes a problem is when it's a problem if it if the voices try to control you if you can't get rid of them and it's causing problems in your daily life if they're um if they're controlling you in any way or dictating your behavior in any way good or bad um you know, then, then maybe we should reevaluate that because let me tell you two different ways. Schizophrenia can be an onset of schizophrenia in your thirties, or you could be born with schizophrenia when you're a child. I've found that patients that are born with schizophrenia, they like the voices. 
They're their friends. They've had them their whole life. They don't want to get rid of them. But someone who's lived a majority of their life without the voices and then have an onset of schizophrenia at like 30 years old, they want to get those voices out of their brain. They want them gone. Okay. So, um, it, that's kind of the difference. Okay, so when we hear a voice in our head, it could be them as long as it's a good message. Yeah, I mean, if you're hearing like negative things, a lot of negative things, even if you were hearing like a lot of negative self-talk from yourself, then that could be a self-esteem issue. It could be, you know, dealing with yourself, your own. I'm going to use the word demons because it's just negativity, negative energy. Okay, I don't really actually believe um, that like we're walking on uh, any in any biblical sense of the word demons. Um, but there is negative energy and a lot of people would consider that a demon. So we'll just say it that way. Um, I just saw a picture. Uh, let me see who passed on that smoked. Um, let me see. Do spirits hear us? Yes. You know, a lot of the time it's crazy. A lot of people will send me a message and they'll say, um, I need a message from, you know, my family who's passed on the other side. And like a lot of the first thing that comes through is they hear you. They hear you when you're doing the laundry. They hear you when you're vacuuming. They hear you like they hear you. Um, and it's just you. You might be looking for an answer a specific way. And that's why it's not coming through because you're blocking the message because you're only paying attention to one way, whatever it is. Maybe you saw something on TV and you think that's how it has to come through. So you're waiting for it to come through that way. I'm going to say just let go. Let it come through in any of your senses. Let it come through in a feeling. Let it come through in a sound. Let it come through like say you ask a question out loud and then a bird sings. That is a that is a psychic response. Okay? It is happening in sync with the messages. Okay? So don't discredit anything. It can happen around you. Um, you could ask a question and something falls off the counter. Those are all encounters with spirit or some type of connection or some type of communication with spirit. Okay? What about seeing dreams of things that are about to happen? What is that um, class as? Um, well, I, I, would, I would just call that... Um, I, clairvoyant. I mean, um, you're, you're having visuals, you're predicting the future. Um, I've had many predictive dreams. And the reason that we have a lot of our predictive dreams when we're sleeping is because we can let go of like our super ego when we're sleeping. And for a lot of you, if you don't know, like psychology of the, the idea of this, um, iceberg of the id super ego and ego, our super ego holds all our moralities. So sometimes, you know, it's not science, it's not socially acceptable to say certain things or to be in society with certain things or come out and say, oh, I know this is going to happen to someone because the first thing we think about is that we're the ones that are going to get blamed. I mean, we, we grow up in this society that if you're able to predict something that it, that it's happening that you either that you must have caused it okay like um so predictive dreams um write that stuff down girl and share it with the world girl or guy i'm sorry i don't know who you are in here let me look down a little bit so i do mentoring as well if you guys head to my website intuitioncc.com you will see, just scroll a little bit to the bottom. You'll see that I have like 20 minute Zoom sessions where we can, um, I have mentoring, life coaching, um, where psychic ability training, where we go back and forth. We, we might do an exercise where we try to visualize the same thing and we talk about it back and forth. So it's a very one-on-one -on -one experience. It's, it's um, one -on one-on-one tailored to you. So if you're looking for something like that, you can check out my website, intuitioncc.com. All right. You had a dream you were a medium, then you probably are a medium. I went to a medium a long time ago. I remember it was probably like 10 years ago and she told me I was a healer. She's like, do you know you're a healer? And I was like, you know, I've always felt like I was a healer, but I really have no idea what that means. And I think I spent the next six years trying to figure out who I was and here I am. <laughs> so, you know, someone asked why she melted smoke. I have no idea what that means. Do you meditate prior to connecting to the other side? So um, meditation is something that I've incorporated to the point where I can do it in a very small amount of time. I can sit and just do a five minute session, a 10 minute session and really get my head right. Um, I've really learned to expel energy, negative energy to tell when something is my energy, when it's not my energy. Like I'm so much more of a calm person than I ever thought. 
because when I was younger, I was getting all of these messages and energies coming at me and I didn't realize that I was what people call an empath. Okay, very susceptible to other energies coming in, but it's because I didn't know boundaries really. Um, and, you know, not understanding that I can push that away, thinking that I had to allow that into my energy. Okay, so, so yes, my husband is a walking demon. <laughs> How do you know if it's bad or good? It's a feeling, okay? Not a fearful feeling. It's not fear, okay? If you are battling something that's like, if you feel like it's demonic in nature, you'll feel it in your core. Like your insides will tell you. It'll. You might see black in your head. You might see black smoke. You might see something um, that reminds you of something that's negative, okay? So don't... don't it's the idea that something negative is going to come in and trick you like that's just that's folk folklore. OK, you have the ability to control anything and any everything that comes into your conscious space. You can literally tell spirit that you only want good messages. You can tell spirit you only want certain things. You only want positive statements. You only want positive messages. You only want messages from spirits who are going to um, connect with so-and-so or, you know, you have the ability to control it. All you have to do is put the intent in it. And I remember this really wise speech. Um, who, who was it? Um, and he said, I'll tell you in a second, it's going to come to me. Um, but I remember him saying like, intent is everything. Nothing ever happened in this world without intent. Jim Carrey, Jim Carrey. Okay. Nothing ever happened in this world without intent. And it's your intent, my intent, intent of spirit, intent of many people like coming together today here. Like you guys had an intent, some intent to learn something or to seek something. Okay. There is, there's a reason that we are both here. Okay. All right. Let's get back to some readings, guys. You guys want to do um, some messages from spirit right now? Let's do um, some energies that you need to um, embrace. Some energies that you need to embrace right now, okay? Or that spirit's asking you to embrace. Maybe you're missing it, okay? Maybe um, maybe you're missing this, all right? And I'm, I'm, we're going to align you back with the energy that you need. After we do this, I'm going to teach you guys how to read auras, okay? Now that you know your predominant um, ability. I'm going to show you a quick way to, um, to read auras using your abilities. Okay. You don't need a pencil and paper. You just need to stick around. All right. And if you would, I would absolutely love it. Just double tap on that screen. Let's get to like 22.2 thousand likes. That would be great. <laughs> Let's get that through in the first hour. Right. Okay. Tammy. I see you, Tammy. Energy that you're being asked to embrace, Tammy. Okay, sextile. So this is... I feel like you're being asked to let it flow a little bit more. I do feel like there is a little bit of tension. It's this... There's... Um, I feel like an elastic band is around you like this. Like tense, tense, tense. And I feel like I need to tell you to like relax and let it flow because I do feel like there's like a situation and you're waiting for an end result. Like I'm going to call it a reward or something, not like, a, I, I don't know. It could be money. It could be like an ending of something like you're waiting for it. And I feel like you're super tense about it. And it's, and I feel like you need to just let go and you need to relax and just be super flowy with it. Um, because there's just this tense energy and I can't, I can't figure out what exactly it is in your life, but I, I see that you're looking beyond, you're looking in the distance of something happening or waiting for something to happen. That's how I feel. Okay. Just relax. Let it go. Be, be loose. Let it flow. Okay. <laughs> All right. So if you guys would like a personalized reading, I do have a TikTok special going on. It is $16. All you have to do is click the link in my bio. Go up here, click on Intuitive Healer 22. You'll see two blue arrows and that'll face you right down um, to my partner site called Hey Hero. And I do work through third party sites. I, ex I, I don't use Venmo, PayPal, Cash App, Zelle. I can't because all the scammers use it. So um, if you would like to send me a tip or anything like that, you can always do it on TikTok or you can do it through my Snipfeed link. Um, 
because I know a lot of you don't, maybe you don't have cards that you can use to get readings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, what happens when you click the link in my bio so that, you know, you guys can see this website. So um, the company is called Hey Hero and Hey Hero is like memo or cameo um, specifically for spiritual leaders. Okay, so you guys see this? Um, you're going to come right up to this and you're going to scroll up. And right there, it's going to show you TikTok special, $16. I know it's backwards here, but you guys can read it. TikTok special, psychic, $16. Um, let's see. There we go. Perfect. Thanks, guys. And that's just right under those two blue arrows. The link is right in my bio right there, okay? Sometimes the link changes, but right now, that's the link that I have up for you guys. All right. Okay. So... Here we go. Let's do, this is energy. Let's see. Yeah, very intuitive site. Good, awesome. Thanks so much for saying that. And thank you so much for purchasing and reading. All right, guys, let's see. Let's do some more. We got, we have messages. Spirit is like, let's go, Katie. There's some messages. Laura needs a message. And Laura, there's some energy that you need to embrace right now in your life. So if anyone wonders why I take a deep breath, it's because I am, it's almost like I'm blowing everything out of my brain and I'm just picturing a blank slate and I'm just waiting for something to come through. Okay. The 12th house, spirituality. This is, this is, um, sacrificial service and healing other people. So there is this need for you to be reaching out and helping other people, having conversations with people, helping people heal based on how you've learned to heal in the past. Okay. Yeah. Blow out all that negative energy. Um, and you know, actually with you. Okay. So I'm seeing, do you, you visualize stuff. I am seeing you visualize blue energy. I feel like you are a distant healer. You have the ability to do distant healing. Okay. Like, um, when you do this, like all you have to do is literally just visualize yourself sending blue energy to people. Okay. And then, um, that blue energy is going to fill up a person. It's going to completely fill them up in their body. It's going to fill their body and it's going to push out any black or red negative energy. Okay. A lot of you guys can do this. I'm just hooked onto your energy right now, girl. So that's what's coming through. Um, but I do this a lot when I am trying to help others heal, when I'm healing problems, um, pain, anything like that in individuals from a distance, I am visualizing blue energy coming in through the head chakra and filling every crevice and cavity into the fingertips and the toe tips of um, my client and I'm pushing out any red or black negative energy. Okay, you guys can do that too. All right. <clears throat> Janice, Janice, good. You don't need to close your eyes. That's good. Janice, I have a message for you. Okay, Janice, what is the energy that you need to embrace? What is the energy that Janice needs to embrace? Oh, I see some strength. Virgo, integrity. Okay, Virgo, this, this energy is about, I feel like, This energy, I, okay, I'm getting the word integrity, but I really feel it's about choosing your words. And I feel like it's the way that you say things to put yourself up on a pedestal. Like you need to do that more. Like you need to be okay with like being in, in the light, being the one um, that gets shit done and being acknowledged for it. Okay. That's the message that's coming through. Um, and it doesn't even say this on the card, but that's what I'm feeling internally. So that's what I'm saying to you. Okay. You need to like let yourself be acknowledged in a good way. Like I feel like in the past, there's this energy of like it being seen too much is a bad thing. Like um, being in the spotlight too much is a bad thing. And I feel like you need to get that block out of out of the way because I feel like you need to be in the spotlight and you can do this in a, in a very like powerful way. Okay. Awesome. Good. <laughs> Ashley, energy for you, Ashley. Okay, energy that Ashley, um, Ashley's guides want her to know. Uh, I'm focusing on anxiety right now. Ashley, do you have a lot of anxiety? Okay, I got the house, the second house. 
Okay, so the second house has to do with self-worth. It has to do with making your own money. It has to do with that's like material values and things like that. So I feel like I feel like you need to embrace this idea of self-worth and how it differs from anything that is physical security, okay? Like physical things do not equal your self-worth. And um, in your mind, like that's kind of like metaphorically how it's coming through. I feel like there are things in your life that you associate value that create value in your life, but I don't feel like you put your self-worth or your self first into any value. Like you are the total package. Like you are the value and, and you could have nothing. You could be completely naked, no makeup, hair wet, have no clothes, have nothing to own. And you would still have value. Okay. And that's what your message is today. All right. All right, guys. Um, so before we start the aura exercise, I want to give you this little, or, or I'm going to teach you how to, to read auras. I want to give you this little exercise that's going to help you to develop your own senses into figuring out how, how are you going to even tell what colors mean? Okay. The hard people think the hard part is just seeing the aura color, but then like, what does it mean? And a lot of people I feel like do this backwards. They're like trying to see the color and then they look up what it means. Um, I almost feel like you have to figure out what a color feels like to you and the images that you get with that color before you even see the color, okay? You've been seeing auras since you were five years old. California girl, oh, that's so amazing. You gotta get that up and running. We gotta get some aura readings from you, girl. Okay, get your business up and running. Let's do this. How much are my readings? Today I'm doing a $16 reading and this is a special for TikTok. So you just have to click the link in my bio. It'll take you to my partner site called Hey Hero. And on there, um, you'll, you'll see the TikTok special right up there in the top, okay? Yeah, no, you're not crazy, girl. You need to start doing this, okay? Or is like, if you are gifted in that area, like just start focusing on that area. Auras can tell a lot about people. We have dimensions of auras. We have layers of auras and they all mean different things, okay? Yes, you can see aura without seeing the person. I, I do aura readings all the time and I just need a name, okay? And um, let me tell you this, let, let's, let's do this exercise really quick, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach you this exercise and um, yes, go ahead and book a reading right now. If you don't want to know this exercise, I will be here for another hour. So let's, let's look at this, guys. I want you to gather, I'm just going to say ribbons, but they can be little pieces of cloth. They can be anything that has colors. They can be crayons, okay? And you're going to put, as long as they all feel the same to you. And um, for me, I used little pieces of ribbon. I cut pieces of ribbon and um, they were all different colors of the rainbow. And what I did was, oh, awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for saying that, Laura. Um, so I took all these colors of the rainbow and I put them in a bag. And then I reached in and I, I grabbed a ribbon and I crumbled it up in my hand and I held it. And I tried to figure out what color it was in my head, okay? I, I felt whatever I saw, um, whatever images came to me, whatever the way I felt, and then I'd write it down and then I would look at the color. You know why? Because we are all different. We all read auras differently, okay? To say that there's only one way to read auras or to read colors or to say that a color means a certain thing, a specific thing, that's a limited belief, guys, okay? So what I want you to do is to train yourself to a feeling, to a vision, to, to whatever you hear when you hold it and then release the color. It doesn't matter if you see purple in your head and it's yellow, you know why? Because you're going to know that that's what you're seeing. If you're seeing someone with a um, purple aura and you know that yellow equals purple in your mind, okay, then <laughs> I think you think my aura is purple. Thank you. <laughs> I love purple. Purple is like my color. I live in purple. I live in the color purple. I love it. Yes. <laughs> okay, so by doing this exercise over and over, grabbing a color, it could be a crayon, a colored pencil, anything, see how you feel. Remember, color vibrates at a certain frequency. Each, each color is going to vibrate at a different level. And the quieter you are, the more calm you are, 
the more focused you are, the more ability you're going to be able to tell the difference between the colors, okay? Yeah. Good. Yay, guys. Good job. Yeah, I see like a lot of you talking about your auras and rainbows and tapping into your own. Okay. Helps colorblind people too. They see different. Yeah, I mean, a color someone who's colorblind, they I bet they could still read your aura. They just have to get the idea out of their head or the limited belief out of their head that it's going to look a certain way, okay? The color of someone's aura doesn't necessarily matter for the person who's reading it. It's the feelings that you get. It's the ideas that you get. It's, it's the energy that presents itself, okay? Exactly. Some people are going to see different colored auras. And you know why? Because we have different levels. Everyone's looking at a different level they could be looking at a different level. Some people could see deeper than others, okay? You see white and blue, beautiful, awesome, guys. Thanks for sharing. Now, um, I'm gonna have you guys do this exercise right now, and you're gonna do it on me, okay? So you're gonna tell me what aura colors you see in me, and I know a lot of you are like, I've never done this before, and you can't be wrong, okay? Because remember, we have many levels. Aura, the, the color doesn't have to be like, um, equal on all sides. It can look differently in different places. You could see a different color here or here, but this is what I'm going to have you guys do, okay? I'm going to have you stare at me. If you can't do this with me on your phone, that's fine. You can do it with a real person, but what I want you to do is to focus on the background behind me, and I want you to, to try to look through me, Okay, I want you to try to look through me to the point where your eyes become maybe, you know, half open, you have blurry vision. Um, a lot of people see a, a lot of aura colors around the shoulder area, so you can focus on one area. Okay, a lot of people will see white um, around the head area, so that's normal too. Yeah, white and blue. Everyone has a different, everyone's going to have a different idea. Some people are going to see different colors and it's going it, to, it might all feel the same to you, but it might look different to you. Okay. What do I see for colors? Yellow, green, and orange, emerald, green, orange, white. Good job, guys. Good job. Yellow, a bit of red, gray, dark green, brown. Awesome. White, greenish yellow. I got a lot of greenish yellow. For those of you who are seeing the greenish yellow, what do you feel? What do you guys feel when you see that color? Yeah, the, seeing white is normally the very first thing people see. Just a haze of white. Just a little glow. A tiny glow. Creative. Good. You saw green and yellow too, awesome. Blue and pink, awesome, yeah. White by my head, red by my shoulders, awesome. Green, passionate, kindness, white haze, yes. Good job, guys. Yeah, see, it's not that difficult and um, red by my shoulders, you're the second person that said that. Awesome, I gotta, we gotta figure out what, what this means, like powerful, highly intelligent, creative. Boom, like it, love it, I love you, I love you, you're my new best friend, you guys are all my new best friend, I love this, I love this. <laughs> Thank you, yeah, let's do this. Um, yeah, you guys wanna do some aura readings? I'll do some aura readings for you guys. I know I'm not gonna see your, I'm not gonna see you, but um, I'm gonna show you a way that I see auras. Now, I know you're doing it in the physical world, but you don't have to do it in the physical world. Okay, this can be done in your third eye. You can see it, you can feel it. A color can come to you, okay? So let's say your names, and then I'm just gonna say your name. I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm gonna tell you the color, the aura that comes to me for you, okay? Um, I'm not going to go too deep into what it means. If you do want a, a deeper aura reading from me, that you can do that right at uh, the link in my bio. It's part of the special. You can add that onto your special, okay? Okay, Ashley. Okay, so Ashley, I feel like um, I feel like you do have a lot of white around your head, but the rest of your body is like a green, like a like a like a grass-colored green, okay? Nancy, 
Nancy, you have a lot of pink around you right now, and I'm really drawn to your heart or your heart chakra. So I don't know if that's something that you're going through right now or like caring about yourself more, loving yourself more, but I definitely see a lot of pink around you. Sophie. Sophie, I see you in green, but you have like a forest green color, Sophie. I see a forest green color for you. Okay. Pia Marie. Okay, so um, for you, really close to your arms and your shoulders and your body here is yellow. But as it gets out to the sides a little bit more in your arms and your hands in this second layer, I see orange. Tiffany. Um, okay, Tiffany, your aura is actually uh, very active. Um, I didn't see this in anyone else, but I feel like I see dark blue and purple like mixing. Like indigo, like an indigo, but I feel like I see it mixing. That's very interesting. Okay. Mark. Okay. Um, I feel like I see this, like a creamy brown color. I feel like the cream and white on the top, but I feel like as I go down, it's darker, a lot darker, which is telling me that you're probably focusing on grounding yourself or grounding your life right now. Okay. Brittany, Brittany, I see this like hot pinkish purple color, like a magenta color. Okay. I see magenta, um, for you. And, um, I feel like this is on the outside a little bit and I see it moving a lot around you like an energy move, movement. That's cool. <laughs> Carmen. Carmen, you have an, um, I am drawn to your sacral chakra and your orange, like a, like a burnt orange color. Okay. I don't know if there's some relationship problems or relationship things that are going on right now. Um, but it, it can, I, I mean, I feel relationship. Um, but I also feel like being creative is going to help that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Stephanie, Stephanie. Okay, Stephanie, I feel like you're surrounded by white light. Like you are completely surrounded by white light. And then like in the next layer is purple. And I feel like the purple layer wants to come in. Like I feel like it wants to be closer to you. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> yes, L. Oh, okay. Let's see what I have for you. Okay. I pictured like a yellowy green. But I also got some blue on like the bottom half of you. Okay? Like a, the blue is like a dark, it's a dark blue. It would be like, um, like, a, like a blue jean, a dark blue jean color. Okay? Renee. White and orange came through white and orange. All right, guys, let me tell you how I'm getting these colors. Let me tell you how they come to me. So they come to me, they physically come to me in two different ways. I either visualize it. I see an outline, a black outline of your body, and I am drawn to a color, like a color is vibrating on you. Or I hear the color in my head, like something just comes through and might say yellow. Like I just hear yellow or I, I see the word yellow. Okay. But, um, for the majority of you, I'm not looking at you right now. So it's not like I need to look at you in order to grab your energy as an energy reader. You can be anywhere and do an energy or an aura reading on anyone. Okay. And I actually, I, that was a limited belief of mine when I started, when I like first went and saw mediums and psychics and stuff. And I was like, wait, how do they do this when you're not right in front of them? Okay. <laughs> All right. Monique. I know a couple of you guys want some aura readings. Monique. I have like a forest green, but it has a little bit of teal, like a foresty green. Um, yeah, but it has teal in it. I'm so drawn to say teal. I can't even let go of that. You got to find out what that means. I have not, I haven't encountered or um, ever really looked up what that means. It does like to me, I feel like it's um, you really having a voice or you're expressing your voice well or you're clear at speaking or there's some something along those lines. 
Paulina. See, I just heard the word orange. And for Paulina, I didn't see anything. For Paulina, I heard orange, okay? All right, guys. <laughs> All right, so um, just you guys meditating on your own, meditating and visualizing your own chakras, since our chakras... Um, our crown chakra all the way to our sacral chakra and to our root chakra. Those all have different colors. We start with red at the root and then orange for your sacral chakra, yellow for your solar plexus, green or pink for your heart chakra, um, like a light blue or blue for your throat chakra, dark blue, indigo, purple for your third eye, and then white light for your crown chakra. So if you can just close your eyes and see if you can visualize your own chakras, see what they look like, see how they spin, see if some look off more off than others. Um, practicing visualizing and using your imagination. Imagination is key. Okay. Practice that visualization. It'll come a lot easier. The colors will come to you a lot more easily. Um, and you can even start to help clear other people's chakras by you visualizing the colors and practicing on yourself. Because then you get to a client and you um, get to a certain area of their chakra and you're like, whoa, why is this chakra, why is this orange um, chakra spinning the opposite way? Like you have a block in your sacral chakra. So that's how we do that. That's how we work with your body and find out where your body has energy blocks. Okay, by using visualization and visualizing colors and chakras, okay? Just remember, it's all frequency. Color is frequency, okay? And we're trying to align that. With, our body is aligning with certain frequencies, okay? All right. Okay. What time is it? Oh, I'm so excited. I have um, this DIY face scrub for you guys. Um, I'm going to be doing it live here. You're going to watch me make it, okay? Um, I don't know if you, you're going to have the, um, all of the ingredients with you now, so maybe you just want a paper and pen for later. Um, or you can catch this replay on YouTube um, probably next week. I'll upload this next week. So um, I'll tell you, uh, this face scrub, I'm just, I'm just getting you guys uh, hooked on this because it is DIY. Um, and it's all natural. Okay. And it's helped so many of my friends and friends, family get rid of acne or help with, um, you know, even scarring on their face. I never even interpret, I never even thought it would, it would work, um, like it did, but I'm going to share it with you guys today. You're overseas. How do you get a reading? Okay, guys, um, if you please click the link in my bio, it'll take you to my partner site called Hey Hero. Hey Hero and I work one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and it, it's an amazing site where you can connect with me and have a personalized video message sent back to you. So right now I have a TikTok um, special going on. Oh, thank you so much for pur purchasing a reading. Um, I will do those readings after I'm done this live and then I'll upload them tonight so you guys should get them in your email tonight. Just know that anytime that you get a reading from Hey Hero, that all the videos are stored in the same place. Okay. So if you guys want a personalized reading, it can be about um, medical, fertility, romance, um, just love in general, love life, love yourself, blocks, healing, trauma, um, readings for those who are nonverbal. Like I had said before, I have a master's in sports psychology and another in behavioral analysis. So I, you know, I do a lot of work or I've done a lot of work with kids who are autistic and nonverbal. So that does help, um, Listen, rosacea, the oil that I use after this scrub, which that is for another day, that oil helps with rosacea. It has helped everyone I've given it to that had rosacea. It has helped their skin. Okay. And I am not making any claims that it's going to cure anything. I'm, I'm making claims that it's going to moisturize the hell out of your skin so that Everything that is caused by your uh, dry skin is going to go away. Okay. And thank you. You know, you're, you guys are talking about my skin and I like, I am so appreciative of it because I was that, I was that girl that was like on proactive and then I got pregnant and I couldn't take proactive. And I was like, why can't I take proactive when I'm, when I'm pregnant? Like what's with this medicine that I'm putting on my face? Um, and I really started to dive deep into oils and things that are good for you and how, you know, how to treat your skin. If you have dry skin, like what do you do? Do you put more oil on it or you take 
oil off. If you have oily skin, what do you do? Do you put oil on or you take it off? Well, like I had to do all this research and then I came up with this face oil that has a mixture of a lot of natural remedies. Um, and I had given it to my high school students and like their, their friggin' face started clearing up. Like I, I don't, I'm not shitting you. Okay. Um, you have rosacea and you start feeling like it's a sign. Good. I'm not even joking. I have it Oh, I can't reach it. It's over there. Um, when I when I start to do my DIY scrub, this is part of it, guys. This scrub is part of it. Um, you're gonna get the recipe for the scrub the scrub for free, um, and I'm gonna do it here with you. Um, you can screen record that portion of it, or you can wait and watch it on YouTube. You can. Um, but I don't have any specific measuring techniques that I'm gonna use, okay? Um, I've just made this, uh, I'm gonna show you how I make it and what it's supposed to look like, okay? <laughs> oh, okay, the infertility video is not up yet. I'm still um, uploading that. The, um, I, it's called The Meta Movement. That's my YouTube channel, The Meta Movement. M-E-T-A, The Meta Movement, like metaphysical. Your, your son's been fighting with acne. Oh my gosh. Hey, is Stephanie still on here? Um, I've given some of this scrub and face oil to Stephanie. Um, what's the price on the readings? TikTok special right now is $16 for the reading. Um, you can add a photo. You can um, speak to those who have passed on the other side, pets as well. Um, so let me tell you a little bit about my medical reading journey. I started as a medical medium. I started doing readings for people just on their medical history. On um, I helped to diagnose a friend with breast cancer. I helped uh, to push her to get um, a colonoscopy because I saw two masses in her colon. Um, and when I realized that I had that ability, I started to just do medical readings for people. And, um, then like those medical readings turned into fertility readings because people had medical problems with fertility. And I thought that's what I was good at. I thought that's like all I could do was medical readings and fertility readings. And then I get here online and everyone's like, don't do them. They're so scary. Like, what if you're wrong? And I mean, I don't, I don't per se diagnose you, but I can help you to see certain things that maybe you are already thinking or if the doctor, if you go to the doctor and, and they don't have answers for you, then um, it's very possible I'll be able to see something in your body. It's kind of like, have you guys ever seen the magic school bus? Like um, with Miss Frizzle and all the kids kind of get down in like a little tiny version of themselves and they go in the human body and everything looks huge and they're like swimming through the bloodstreams and going into the brain. Like that's what it looks like in my head, okay? So if you want a medical reading, um, and if you want a medical reading and you want the TikTok special, I would just ask you to send me in a direction. You, I mean, you don't have to, but um, I, I will only have a couple minutes to get into it. Usually the, the most important thing comes through first. So uh, I'm, I'm not gonna tell you to give me, give anything away, okay? Um, but if you have an intent when you create the question, then I feel like that intent will come through. Um, usually spirit tells me whatever is the most important thing. Okay. Um, so, so yeah, you can do that. You see reddish orange on my face. It's probably my ring light. <laughs> Yeah, you guys, it's because I put, it's because I put, um, I, I put a lot of SPF, like, uh, zinc oxide around my eyes and on my chest. And, um, there is a UV, there's a UV type, um, essential oils in the oil that I use. Okay. Yeah. You can put it on his back. You can do the scrub on their back. You can do the scrub. Let's just, let's, I want to get into this, but I want to talk a little bit about stress management right now, okay? Um, or should I save that for the end? Do you guys want to just get into the DIY right now? Yeah, I have, I have tan. I'm tan, naturally tan, I guess you could say, but I think the color is coming from my light. And I'm sweaty. <laughs> I'm sweating. I'm not going to lie. I'm sweating. Okay. 
Yeah, I can read by camera. Okay, you guys wanna just do this? You guys wanna just make this product and then um, I'll talk to you guys about stress management and we'll talk about crystals because I have like all these beautiful crystals here that I wanna talk about stress management. Let's do that. Let's, let's talk about stress management right now and then I'm gonna bring on the DIY because I'm gonna clear the table for the DIY. It's kinda like in a talk show where they do all the cooking at the end. Okay? Um, so let's do it that way. Okay, I'm sorry if everyone wanted the exfoliator, but it's gonna be really quick because all I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna talk a little bit about stress management. Um, and let me tell you, if you have little kids and they stress the hell out of you, then you're gonna wanna listen to this because uh, once I realized, or once I started using these specific crystals when I had stress, um, it, was, it was so calming for me, okay? Um, someone asked if you could cash at me. Unfortunately, I do not take cash app. Um, I don't take Cash App, Venmo, or PayPal because the scammers do. So if you would like to um, book a reading, please do that through the link in my bio. I also have um, the ability to receive tips on TikTok. Um, I have the ability to re receive tips on my Snip Feed, which is snipfeed.co forward slash Katie Mikey. Okay. Yeah. So the scammers use all that and I can't use it. And I, you know, so... I gotta use 30 third party uh, people who can um, verify who I am. All right? Okay. <clears throat> so let's talk about stress management, guys. All right? And there's all kinds of ways that you can use herbs. Let's just start off by saying you can make teas, you can make tinctures, um, you can make creams with tea, with um, uh, any natural herb. Um, and there's different ways you can make tinctures. You can make an alcohol-based tincture. You can make a water-based tincture. So um, let me, let's talk about a couple of the herbs that are going to be key in controlling your stress or at least giving you some type of calming aspect that is not addicted or isn't going to um, mess with your psyche. Okay, so I mean, let's talk about THC. THC, um, I do believe, has a calming effect for people, um, but I also feel like there are certain strands of THC that can make you really tired, okay? So if, um, you know, if you have the ability to relax like that and, um, you know, maybe at the end of your day, that I, I, would, I would suggest you looking into THC or um, that CBD even better because CBD isn't going to leave you um, a little loopy or maybe leave you tired for, um, you know, for me, when I first discovered both of those um, in the medicinal form, I really, I realized that CBD was better for me because of my kids. Um, you can't get through. Okay, this is what I'm going to do, guys. I'm sorry. I just saw someone say you can't get through. And um, let's see. I see a couple people being able to get through. Send me a message, girl. Send me a message on Instagram, okay? Katie Mikey Psychic. Just send me an inst uh, a message right now and I'll get with you, okay? I promise. All right. So um, someone had said chamomile, basil, mint. Yes. Um, actually, basil and mint can help. Um, definitely. Uh, those are amazing. So um, I was talking about the CBD. And so we can go that route if you want to. But if you guys want to do something even... Um, less difficult to get, okay? Um, let's talk about just herbs. Let's talk about making teas. Let's talk about making tinctures, okay? A tincture is really easy to make. You're gonna take a mason jar, you're gonna fill it three quarters of the way with the herb, and then you're gonna take some Everclear and you're gonna pour it in all the way to the top, and then you're gonna let it sit for three weeks, okay? Shake it every now and then. When you're done, you're going to strain it, and then you're gonna keep that alcohol in a dark brown type of bottle, dropper bottle of some sort, that is going to last you up to eight years. That will stay good for eight years. Now, what type of herbs do you want to do this with? Ashwagandha, chamomile, lavender, valerian roots, and kava. And I don't know if you guys have this around you, but here in Florida, we have kava bars. Does anybody have kava, kava bars? Anybody like, a, and I don't mean a bar like uh, something to eat. I mean like a bar, like a drinking bar, kava bars. Where's a good place to get the brown bottles? I buy mine on Amazon. Um, let me see if I can just grab one of the bottles right here for you. Um, 
No, I can't grab it. <laughs> I have to move everything. I told you I'm in the shower today. Yes, Amazon has them. I have like, I bought them in bulk. Like I just bought, I think I bought like 200 bottles. Um, because you can put oils in there, you can put tinctures in there, anything will, they'll keep that long, okay? So I was talking about kava. Kava is um, a great um, herb to make a drink out of. And here in Florida, we have um, like coffee bars, we have kava bars. People go in, and they relax and drink their kava. And um, Valerian root is another good one to make a tea with, okay? Yes, those are also good, blue and black. Yep. Um, the cohosh. Yeah, that's also a good one to use. I, valerian root kind of smells like muddy water to me. So I tend to mix that with, um, chamomile or lavender. Um, <laughs> if, uh, if you are looking for something to, if, listen, I would talk to your doctor about this, but you know, no one, there's no FDA studies on anything that's natural. Go figure. So, um, chamomile tincture, making a chamomile tincture by filling a jar with chamomile flowers, covering it with, um, an Everclear and then straining it and making a tincture. Take two to three drops of that tincture every day under your tongue. And that I've have personal experience. I've seen family members come off of their medication like Prozac and Wellbutrin. I know there's a couple others out though, but those are the ones they were taking. And they've come off of their medication and they only use chamomile on a daily basis. Now, I'm not saying it's going to work for everyone. There are, you can take certain amounts, you know, um, three to 15 drops a day. I mean, you don't, you know, it's all dependent on you. Um, does it have to be ever clear? No, it doesn't have to be ever clear. But if you have, the reason I say ever clear is, um, it's, it has a high, high alcohol content. Okay. Um, you know, when they say like a certain percentage of alcohol and it's a certain proof, Everclear is like a really high, yeah, has a high, eth um, Ethol, I, I, I can't remember what it's called. 100%. Okay, yeah, so it's, it's going to extract the goodies from the herbs a little bit more. Yeah, it's very harsh, it's, it's super strong, um, and you're... I mean, that's why you're using drops of it, like a, a tiny drop at a time, like two to three drops, one drop, and you're going to, oh yeah, ethanol. Thank you. Um, yes, it has a high ethanol content. And um, you're just gonna do a couple drops in your water bottle and you're barely even gonna taste it. Um, or you can do it under your tongue. You can also do this with water. You're basically making a super concentrated water. Um, and, but that's not going to last as long as the tincture. Okay. Yeah, I can write my Instagram on here. Sure. It is called Katie Mikey Psychic. And if you see a bunch of pictures that say, this is not me, these are scammers, that's me. <laughs> Katie Mikey Psychic, right there for you. Okay. Yeah, you're right. You guys are all right. You guys are right about the alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, let's get to crystals now. Okay. I talked about these herbs, ashwagandha, chamomile, lavender, valerian root, kava. You can even put like it's, the, it's more of like the essence or the smell of lavender. So if you have essential oils, you can put that in um, a vaporizer and a diffuser. And you can also make little pillows and put lavender inside of it and then put it in your pillow or um, soak dryer sheets or sheets in lavender oil and then dry them out and then put that in your pillow at night. That can help you manage stress. It can help you fall asleep more easily, okay? Now crystals, let's talk about the crystals. Um, I didn't bring all of the crystals out for you to see. I should have, I forgot to, but I do have amethyst with me. So the first one we're gonna talk about is amethyst. And amethyst is an alleviator of anxiety, okay? Anything that's in this purple, um, in this head, like migraines, anxiety in your head, things like that, 
Um, that is going to be like amethyst. It doesn't have to come in this form, which is this is a geode form. This is a cluster geode. So this is like this was the inside of a rock and that was the outside of the rock. OK, um, any type of amethyst, it can be a tower, it can be a sphere, it can be this big, it can be this big. OK, so um, if you like amethyst is a good is a good gateway crystal okay amethyst is a good gateway crystal where um if you don't know crystals that much like and you're just like i really want something to start with my anxiety or sleeping amethyst is a good one to start with okay now um the next one i'm going to talk about is black tourmaline black tourmaline is kind of brittle um but it, it looks like it comes in like um almost like sheets and it's it's black and it absorbs negative energy. So what I like to do is I like to take pieces of black tourmaline and put them in doorways so that when people walk through doorways, it kind of um, absorbs their negative energy before they come into my space. I used to do this as a teacher all the time in my office. I would put black tourmaline around my office and be like, if you're having a bad day, you can't come in here. You need to absorb your energy out here and then you can come in here, <laughs> okay? Um, the next crystal I want to talk about is um, lipidolite. Lipidolite is a purple stone and it um, resembles amethyst, um, but it's not in a, it doesn't come in a crystal form like amethyst comes in this crystal form as well as um, like more of a, a, a matrix. Um, there are matrix in lipidolite it's mostly purple but it can look like it has little veins of green in it okay and um this is why i like lipidolite as a mother of four small children i held on to that lipidolite as hard as i could <laughs> i had to get through like those terrible years of the screaming and crying and whatnot and um and I started to discover lipidolite. Well, you want to know what's awesome about lip lipidolite is a lithium based stone. Now, for those of you who know, lithium is an actual drug. It's an actual um, mineral. And um, we use this in medications already to treat things like um, we treat like schizophrenia with it. We treat bipolar disorder. We treat um, other depression, anxiety with lithium based drugs. So it's also an element. Thank you. Yes. So lithium is the base stone in lipidolite. So by wearing it, it's almost like you're getting a dose of medicine from the outside. Your energetic field is getting the medicine. It's getting the calming elements. Okay. If that make you guys make that makes sense to you. Now, um, one that I like to use all the time is rose quartz. Rose quartz has a very loving energy, and I feel like it does enable you to bring the love into a situation where maybe you're angry and feisty and a little anxious. So, um, wearing or giving um, a lot of rose quartz, like I would wear rose quartz every single day when I was in my awakening. And that's basically because I had to remind myself of the beautiful things that I have in this world every day instead of focusing on the negatives or the things that were causing me stress and anxiety, okay? So rose quartz, love, love, love those rose quartz guys in this world every day instead of focusing on the negatives or the things that were causing me stress and anxiety okay so rose quartz love 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 those rose quartz guys um but if you are looking to have less stress better sleep maybe even um more um prophetic dreams i would start with amethyst and sleep with it under your pillow okay wear it sleep with it under your pillow put it in the tub with you put it in the water with you um yes moonstone too moonstone is like known as like the mellower okay um it it's calming mellow it doesn't you don't have to have white moonstone you can have peach moonstone too there's different types of moonstone okay now, um, I'm going to talk about a couple more things. If any of you like massages, you will like this one. So um, did you know massage therapy reduces stress? Yes, it does. It's not just that it feels good. We had, there was a study done in 2004, and they took 84 pregnant women um, and, that had depression, okay? And they received 20-minute massage therapy sessions two times a week. And after 16 weeks... 
um, their serotonin levels in their body were higher than in the beginning of the study. So it showed that the massage naturally enhanced their serotonin levels. So if you guys don't know what that is, when we are stressed or have anxiety, um, we are lacking serotonin. Serotonin's like this, the happy pill. It's the happy drug. It makes us better. It makes us feel better. So here are some natural foods that you can take that can help to release serotonin in your body. Um, eating salmon, eating brown rice, plums, or pineapples. Those are the four that I know specifically that will help with serotonin levels. Did you also know that exercise releases serotonin in your body? Epsom salt um, and um, bright light therapy. Okay. Yeah. Um, you're looking something natural for your mom. Like start with the, the crystals, something that's not invasive at all. Okay. Um, yes, there are certain, um, there are certain, so there's certain chemicals in the in serotonin, like it's made up of more than one. It's not just called serotonin. And in certain foods, there's like half of that chemical in like salmon, brown rice, plums, pineapples, stuff like that. You're not ever going to get the full, um, the full release of serotonin with just those foods. Okay. Um, but St. John's wort is a more natural alternative. And I know a lot of people use that too, to help with managing their stress. Okay. Is pregnancy the subtopic today? No, today we are talking um, about, this. that was just a segment, um, that was just a study I read that showed proof that massage therapy reduces stress. And they showed it by um, comparing serotonin levels in the beginning of the study versus at the end of the study. And if you didn't know serotonin, when we have a lot of serotonin, we are happier, we are less depressed. When we have less serotonin in our body, we are anxious and we have depression. Yeah, you have a red light lamp. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Some uh a lot of people that live in places that are dark most of the year do light therapies, things like that. Light therapy works really well, okay? Um so, this brings me to the last segment before we do a bunch more readings, guys. Um I'm going to show you how to make this DIY face scrub um, and it's all natural and I am going to be using white sugar, but you can use brown sugar if you have like super, super sensitive skin. Okay. You're in the middle of healing your past pregnancy. That's why I'm asking. Oh girl, you need to do a sacral chakra release. Okay. Sacral chakra release. This is, um, I've had to do this with a couple of my preg pregnancies that were very painful, okay? So I'll have to message me on Instagram and I'll send you a video to do a, a chakra release. Yeah, so um, guys, just letting you know, like this, some of the stuff that I'm telling you, um, I, I mean, I'm not a doctor. I have two master's degrees. Um, I'm, not, I'm not telling you to run out and just take this stuff without doing um, any research. We all have to do our own research. We all have to... Um, see, you know, we're all different people. Our body reacts differently to things. Um, and specifically I do a lot of my research in books and I use a lot of natural therapies. This is specifically one book that I've been using, um, the complete book of natural therapies. Okay. Um, it's called mind and body. I got this at, um, Barnes and Noble. Um, so a, a medical doctor wrote this book. So this is where I get my information from. But again, you cannot just take what I'm saying and just live your life that way, okay? This is just suggestions for you, um, alternative ways, um, kind of going more towards metaphysical healing, okay? We all do have the same physiology, but we don't all react chemically to, to certain things. And that's what I mean when I'm talking about, like, I don't think you're going to have an allergy to... Um, amethyst, but you might too ashwagandha. Like that's what I'm saying. Just do your research. Um, it's just like hair dye. They tell you to test a little bit of hair dye before you do your whole head. All right. If you're coming into something that is new, um, that you've never done before, test a small portion. Okay. All right. But yeah, this is an awesome book. Uh, Peter Albright is the uh, doctor behind this book. It's called The Complete Book of Natural Therapies, Safe and Effective Self-Help for Everyday Ailments. Okay, amazing book. Um, I got it for $13 at Barnes & Noble, okay? 
All right. Oh, and I want to show you this other book that I got. Barnes and Noble has awesome deals all the time, guys. If you're looking into getting like topomistry or auras or astrology, they have like, they have all these books, okay? They're $8 each, okay? Astrology, palmistry, aura reading, um, and they all have like awesome exercises. I get a lot of my exercises from these books, from other books, from studies and things like that. Um, so please go get a book, educate yourself in that area. Um, okay. Foods that harm and heal. Okay. Let me set up this area. Um, if you guys could just double tap on that screen while I'm getting set up. Um, I've been slacking in that area. If you could double tap on that screen and get my lives, my likes up a little bit, I would love that while I'm setting up and just giving you something to do, okay? Um, because I have everything. I just uh, want to make sure that I have enough room. All right. Here we go, guys. All right, so if you're just joining us, I am going to show you guys how to make a face scrub that I have made for the past like four years. I share this with everyone. Everyone loves it, okay? Um, if you would like, before I start this, if you guys would like a personalized reading, if I haven't gotten to you, if you'd like a personalized reading, please click the link in my bio. Head there right now, I have a TikTok special. It's only gonna be up for another half hour. Um, after that, I will have my regular prices up and I will continue to do readings as normal for you guys. Um, but right now I'm going to show you DIY. So let me get that stuff ready for you. Okay. And I'll talk a little bit about the, the, um, ingredients that I'm working with. Okay. So, um, for this specific face scrub that I'm going to teach you guys, we're not eating any of this, okay? Technically, I think you could eat all of this, except for the soap, okay? But we're not gonna be eating any of this. Um, so uh, what I'm using here, here we go. Dr. Brown's Castile Soap. Um, it's for, it's hemp baby and unscented, okay? It's really important that you use unscented. It's important that you use the, the hemp base one, okay? Um, hemp seed oil is the only oil that will not clog your pores. Now I know a lot of people use jojoba oil on their face and they say that it helps with acne. But what happens with jojoba oil is it actually makes all of your acne come out at one time. Um, and that it, it's almost like accelerates the process. Now hemp seed oil is completely different. It's one of the only oils that doesn't chemically react to clog your pores. So it's going to moisturize your skin 10 times more, like I cover my body in hemp seed oil every day, okay? My name's Katie Mikey. <laughs> okay, now um, I'm just going to be use white sugar, okay? And this is just a half a cup of white sugar. Um, you can use brown sugar if you have really sensitive skin, but I thought I had sensitive skin and I don't like the brown sugar because it doesn't scrub enough. It doesn't exfoliate my skin enough. And if you guys look at my skin, like I'm not wearing any makeup or anything right now. Okay. I know it's horrible to look at, but like in this light, but, um, I've only used these products. Okay. This is the only thing I use is natural stuff. Um, now I'm not going to put any essential oils in this, but I do have vitamin E and, um, this is in a pill form. You can get like the liquid form, but like all I do is take one of these and then I snip it with scissors and just squeeze it in, okay? And that's gonna, you're gonna do the same with salmon oil. So this is also like just fish oil, guys. So um, fish oil is going to help your skin 100% and also primrose oil, okay? So those are the three that you're gonna put in here that are supplemental to the hemp seed. Um, so that is vitamin E, some type of salmon or fish oil, and primrose oil, okay? You guys writing this down, right? You gotta write this down. Primrose oil, um, vitamin E, and some type of fish or salmon oil, and you can get them all in these gel forms. Get the gel, okay? It's much easier to keep for a while. You just take some scissors, snip the end, and squeeze it right into your uh, face wash, okay? All right, so um, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna show you now is I'm going to make it, and I'm gonna show you the consistency, because I don't normally measure 
Um, what I do is I put an even consistency of both of these, okay? Um, I know the fish oil stinks a little bit, but I use salmon oil and then um, with everything else in here, you're doing it in the shower. So, um, I mean, I don't think it, it smells that much. You're not putting a lot of fish oil all over your face, okay? So what I would do is if, let's say I'm, I'm working with a half a cup of sugar, I would probably just put two capsules of each, okay? Two capsules of vitamin E, two capsules of fish oil, two capsules of primrose oil. The primrose, the primrose oil gets rid of the redness, okay? So if you have rosacea, the primrose, primrose oil is good for that rosacea. Um, the omega-3 is really good for um, just the hydration of your skin in general, and it really is going to help with scars, which is also that vitamin E oil, okay? So again, no essential oils in this. The essential oils will go in, um, in the oil afterwards, the face oil after, which we'll do in another show. So this is the soap again. It's the Castile soap, okay? It says Heal Earth. Um, it says Dr. Bronner's on it. I got this at Target, Okay. You can get this on Amazon, but don't, no scent, unscented, and it says, um, it says 18 and one hemp baby unscented, okay? You're going to want to get that. No scent. I've tried the one that has lavender in it. It burned my friggin' face. Don't get it, okay? And um, I, you can buy this on Amazon, like I buy it in a 50 gallon tub, but you can get this at like Mother Earth or something, like this was $10 at Mother Earth. Okay, and this is hemp seed oil, organic cold pressed hemp seed oil. Um, it's not CBD oil. Okay, this doesn't have CBD in it. It's not CBD oil. Um, CBD oil is literally mixed, is CBD mixed with MTS oil. It's not CBD oil. Okay, this is from the plant. This is the hemp plant. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, oh, and I have a little jar that I got on clearance, like at Michael's because it wasn't, um, it wasn't Valentine's Day anymore. So all you need is just like, a little jar of some sort or a squeeze tube to put it in, okay? All right, let me move the camera down a little bit so you guys can see me mixing this. Um, if you want, you can also put it in like a little container like this. Okay, so I'm gonna move this down. So you guys can see. Okay little crooked but hey all right can you guys see that get to see pretty good okay okay so um i'm gonna just start by putting my sugar in And like I said before um you're gonna want more you don't want to put too much too much soap Okay, so I'm gonna start with putting oil in and then I'm just gonna lightly add the soap until it becomes like frothy. And I'll show you what I mean by that. See how the hemp seed oil is like super dark green? All right, so we're gonna mix that and see what it looks like. All right. So it still looks fluffy, but what we want is like something that's like fluffy and creamy. So I'm just going to add like a few drops at a time. You're not gonna wanna overdo it. So just a couple drops at a time. And just keep mixing until it becomes creamy and fluffy. And no, I'm not making cookies. All right, guys, a little bit more soap and maybe a little bit more oil. All right. So it does look, it's, it's not liquidy, right? You see how it's not liquidy? You see how like I can pick it up like this? It's not ready. It's not ready yet, guys. I have to add a little bit more oil. I gotta add a little bit more soap. We want it to be fluffy. I'm 
Maybe I shouldn't have used a whisk. Maybe just a spoon would have been good. <laughs> All right, there we go. There we go. See how it's starting to get soapy, like in creamy color? It's almost like the soap is already activating. There we go. See that creamy white color? That's what we're going for. That means we need a little bit more soap in there. There we go, guys. That's exactly what I'm talking about here. We want it to get this consistency. This is what we're looking for. You guys see that? This is exactly when you're gonna wanna add your oils. Oh, I gotta wipe my hands now, guys. I gotta wipe my hands. Okay, so you're gonna wanna add your oils right at this point, okay? It's kind of frothy. It's this consistency, all right? This is exactly what you're looking for in your face wash. Now all you need is like a dime size of this in your hands in the water and then scrub your face with it. It's actually going to leave your face moisturized when you're done, all right? Do you guys have any questions? I know I wasn't really watching while you guys are watching, um, but I mean, you can fit this right in a jar. If you've mixed it consistently, it won't separate. If it starts to separate and you notice there's a lot of soap or the oil is, is coming up to the top, it means you use too much oil, okay? So I'll put this down here. And I really wanna hear what you guys, I really wanna hear if you guys tried this. I wanna know, um, you missed the beginning, what's the ingredients? <laughs> I'll have to put the ingredients up on my, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll put the ingredients up on my, um, my story a little bit later, okay? So um, right now is when I would add the fish oil, where I, when I would add, um, I don't have my scissors right now, but like um, you would just take two things of vitamin E, two things of fish oil, two things of primrose, just squeeze it in, mix it up a little bit more, and throw it right in your jar. When it starts to get that creamy, white, frothy color, you know that it's done, okay? Oh, oh my gosh, awesome guys. You guys got this up to 30,000 likes. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, you gotta try this, okay? Um, and then after, I'm gonna have to prep a little bit more because the face oil um, has a lot of ingredients in it. So um, I'll have to do that at a later time. I, won't, I probably won't be able to do it in my next show, which will be next week. Um, but I'll uh, put the recipe up for this specific face wash. I'll make sure to put that on my Instagram um, so you guys can see it, so you guys can redo it. Um, and you know, it's really up to you, the vitamins that you use. Oh, hey Steph, it works amazing. My son used it and cleared up his skin. Girl, you still have to send me a photo so I can see. How do you maintain your psychic medium abilities? That is such a great question. I work every single day using them. I use them every single day. Um, if you guys look at my TikTok um, page, you'll see that I do a lot of missing persons cases. I feel really drawn to missing persons cases, so I do those regularly. Um, when I started out as a public psychic medium, um, I gave like 145 free readings. I basically went on all my social media accounts and I said, send me a blue heart if you want a reading. I'm practicing and all I need is feedback. So please help me out and I'll help you out if I can. Um, and that's kind of how it started and I started to work on my abilities every day, get feedback from people um, and it really did grow and I did have to learn, I had to like, I had to have a relationship with my abilities. I had to learn, like relearn my abilities. Like um, I had to learn that an energy reading doesn't come through the same as when someone has passed away. Like I didn't have a teacher. I didn't have um, someone who was there to show me the ropes. I basically had to do it on my own. Um, oh, are you guys talking about some scammers that have all my videos? I know you guys just got to report them. Report, report. Send me a screenshot of their 
um, of their page and I will do my best to report them. I think I report probably like three or four a day. Um, but yeah, oh. <laughs> All right guys, we're gonna end this on a good note. I want you guys, a couple of you to get some more readings. Let's do the Crystal Inspiration deck and let's see what Crystal you need. Let's see what Crystal you need in your life. Um, this deck, uh, if you go to my snipfeed.co forward slash Katie Mikey, um, you'll see this deck. It's the Crystal Inspiration deck. I love this deck for two reasons. One, it has amazing statements and sentences on the bottom. So if you're kind of new to Oracle cards and you're just looking for a daily message, you can literally just pull out three cards and get a message for that day. So here's an example. One, two, three. Okay, so this one says practice patience. Prioritize your health and feed your creativity. So those are like, that can be one statement, three different things that I can work on in, during the day. Um, but what I also like is that it has crystals on it. So you can use it for its color purposes. You can use it for, um, to figure out what crystal you need in your life. And we're going to do that right now. So if you guys want to figure out what crystal um, in your life, I'll try to get as many of you guys in as I can in the next 10 minutes. And um, if you would like a personalized reading, I am a professional psychic medium. This is my daily job. I do this for you guys. I love coming to you. I love connecting with you guys. So um, I would love to connect with you. So please uh, click the link in my bio and just kind of check out my profile. There's about 100 reviews on there. You can check that out as well just to see if it's something for you. Okay? Okay, Jeanette. All right, Jeanette. What energy is calling for you? Jeanette, chiropraz, allowing yourself to receive, okay? So it sounds like you need to open up your heart chakra a little bit and, and maybe it's like allowing the compliments to come in, allowing yourself to receive messages from others, okay? Veronica, thanks for being here, Veronica. Let's see what card you need. Ooh, Redocrasite. This is a beautiful pink stone. This is actually good for stress management as well. This um, specifically says, remember your worth. So whether it's stress related um, or related to the self, I do feel like that's definitely a sign that you need some pink in your life. You need some um, self-love in your life. All right. Cassie. Ooh. <laughs> all the cards fell out for Cassie. All, Cassie, you need all, the, you need all the crystals. You need all the crystals. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. Cassie, what does Cassie need to know? Cassie, what crystal do you need in your life? You need aura quartz. Lighten up. Okay, there is this, um, a very whimsical energy that needs to come through, an energy that isn't just always based on science and facts. Some things can just exist because they do, and I feel like you're being asked to embrace that whimsical energy. Okay? All right, Nicole. Nicole, what crystal do you need in your life, Nicole? Apophyllite. Stay positive. Okay. Apophyllite. I have never owned any Apophyllite. I have never even seen where to buy Apophyllite. Um, but it is a stone of positivity. It is a stone that's going to help your, um, you know, your crown chakra and your connection to spirit. Okay. Who's next? Julie. Julie. What card do you need, Julie? <laughs> you, Unikite. This is the ultimate self-love stone. This is good for stress too. This is a good stone for giving and receiving love, for opening your heart chakra, for having a heart chakra awakening. Unikite. Um, it says live in the now, okay? Being in the now space, enjoying the people around you, enjoying the things around you, what you're doing in the now, okay? Stop thinking about the past. Don't think about the future, okay? We can't all predict our future. We can't all predict, predict it, okay? I don't even try to predict my own future, but we can all create it, okay? You are your own creator of your own reality, and you have the power to do that every day. All right, let's see. Marlo. Hi, Marlo. Thank you for being here, Marlo. Okay, here we go. Marlo. Sodalite. Oh, Sodalite is a good crystal for stress as well. This is speak your truth. 
this is speak your truth. It might, spirit is kind of pointing me to your throat chakra a little bit, saying that there might be some things you need to get off your chest, some things you need to say, some truths that need to be said, okay? Dorothy, Dorothy, thank you, Dorothy. Don't forget to double tap that screen, guys. Let's get, let's get those, those likes up there. I've got eight minutes left on here. <laughs> All right, girl, what do you need? Iolite, shift your money mindset, okay? Iolite does look similar to Lipidolite. I hope maybe Lipidolite will come up because that is like the stone of stress to help with stress, okay? Um, lip, Iolite is a changing your money mindset, okay? So if you're in this idea or there's some limited beliefs around money and you're wondering why it's not coming in, um, I would go back and change your mindset a little bit about what money is, how to determine its value. Um, do we work for money or does money work for us? Like, what are your values? And then change them because <laughs> I feel like it's not working for you right now. Okay, um, girl, I've been there. When you're just sitting and waiting and waiting and waiting and then you realize it's because you're thinking it has to come in a certain way and that's a limited belief. All right, Steph. Tiger's eye, overcoming your fears. Oh my gosh. Like, there's a lot of you on here that need this tiger's eye in your life. You need to stay grounded. You need to overcome your fears, okay? When you have a fear in life, try to figure out where that fear came from. Did it come from your actual true experience? Did it come from a TV show? Did it come from your parents? Did it come from someone saying it to you? Okay, over and over and over. Fear, overcome your fear, and you will live a happy life. Fear keeps us in the dark, guys, okay? Who's next? Quincy. I saw you on there, Quincy. Oh, you're so grateful. Thank you. Thanks for being here, guys. Thanks for being here. Quincy, what crystal do you need in your life? Lapis lazuli. Okay, this is going to open your third eye. Okay, lapis, make a decision. There's definitely, um, this is going to help you, I, excuse the term, grow some, you know, kahunas. Like, Okay, I feel like lipidolite is like this sorcerer's type of stone. I feel like lipidolite is what, I'm sorry, I feel like lapis lazuli is what like jumped me into having visions into my ascension, okay? Um, and it really, like, I mean, it has, lapis lazuli has little pieces of pyrite that run through it. It's so beautiful. It's such a beautiful stone to own. Um, I hope you can, you definitely get to own some of this in your lifetime. Okay, it's such a gorgeous stone. All right, Tina, I saw you, Tina. <laughs> How are you, Tina? All right, ready? What do you need, Tina? What do you need to know? What stone do you need? Citrine, bring in the light. Citrine is a good stone to bring about your true personality. Citrine is great for money, putting it in the far left corner of your home. Like if you walk into your house, and you go to the back of your house to the left, put citrine in that corner. That is the money sector of your house, okay? All right, guys. Oh, let's see. We are almost up. Our time is almost up here. <laughs> but a lot of you guys stayed for the whole time. Thank you so much. Again, my name is Katie Mikey. I am a psychic uh, medium psychic and intuitive life coach. I have a master's in sports psychology and other in behavioral analysis. Um, and I'm, I'm here because you want to know why I'm here? My south node is in the 12th house and my north node is in the sixth house. So I was a shaman, a spiritual healer in a past life. And I'm bringing those gifts back to this lifetime. And I'm here to bring it to your daily life, your daily living, um, your daily health. Okay. And that's what I'm here doing. I am trying to bring you the best natural um, ways of living, whether it is things that you put on your body or in your body or in your mind, um, anything that is positive and going to help you live a positive and successful life. That is what I'm here to do. Um, the last three stones are crystals I have. Thank you for helping me. Yay. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, again, uh, check out my Instagram page for the, um, kind of recipe that I, for this face wash that I made today. I have it right down here. Remember guys, when you're making it, it's gotta be like this white kind of frothy consistency, almost like really thick pancake batter. That's what you're going for. Um, you don't have to add anything else to it. It can just be the oil, the soap and the sugar. 
Um, but I did add the vitamin E, the salmon oil and primrose oil, um, just because they do have properties that help to um, lessen the redness on your skin and that's why they're in there, okay? Just in case you were wondering. Oh guys, you're so welcome. Thanks so much for being here with me. I'm so happy that you guys get to be here with me during this live instead of me just like recording the podcast, recording this and then uploading it later. I love connecting with you guys like spot on. Um, and you know, it's so funny that someone just asked to be in my live. I am going to start incorporating uh, one-on-ones during my live, okay? So um, thank you for being so eager to jump on. Unfortunately, I am running out of time today. And um, check me out next week. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I do this for two hours. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. every week. Um, I kind of do other things and a lot of missing people's cases on the weekends. So, um, yeah, I have, um, I have a reading right after this. I have, um, let me see. I have a, oh yes, I have a reading I have to get to in just a couple minutes. So thank you so much, you guys. I do appreciate it. And I will be in touch. Okay, hang out on my TikTok. Look through the missing people's cases. I have a few that are going on right now that need your help. Okay, Oakley Carlson, Harmony Montgomery, um, and uh, Chance Engelbert. Those are the ones that I'm currently, like, have videos on working through. I, I do feel like there are some key clues in these videos that I just need the right person to hear. So go in them, look at them, um, see how they make you feel, and share them. All right? I love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye. See you guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>